What up, it's Dirty Tan Dandy Man, and I'm back with another video. <clears throat> so for this video, I'm gonna be installing some Apex intakes that I picked up for my M6. Um, first time doing intakes. So, actually no, I done intakes in a different car. So to start off, we're gonna be using a Torx bit, size 25, I believe. Yeah, 25. A lot of people told me not to do the intakes because it takes stock power, or it takes power from the car because it's gonna be an open box. But I think it's gonna look sick and let's try it out. Obviously if it doesn't, if I see a lot of power getting lost, I'll just remove them <clears throat> and sell them, but Let's give it a try. So, I would say first, I'm gonna start taking these off. And then I'm gonna remove these now. And for some reason, on the other side they're flatheads and on this side they're crosses. I'm gonna do the map sensors. kind of hard recording and doing this at the same time. Not the best angle, but it's gonna have to do since I'm using my phone to record. Alright. I'm gonna need something to wrap those in for now. Let me pause this. Alright guys. I ended up taking the whole entire intake off. I think I was supposed to leave this box in here in the bottom because if not, I'm gonna be sucking all the hot air from the engine. So I'm gonna put this back in there. I'm just gonna take the top part off. But I guess it's easier if I take it off. I could just leave it without the bottom part, but that's just, I think it'll look cooler without the box. Hmm. Now we have a problem. All right, so I take it off and look at this. They're pretty in really bad shape actually. Should have updated them a long time ago. So this is we're gonna use this. So I ah, what is this? But oh no. See. Update. <clears throat> So it, you could either put it with the box or without the box. And I was going to put it with the box. But it looks like I'm missing a middle part that goes from the from this here to here. It doesn't have it on this side either. Maybe the last person took them off or they lost them. Or I'm trying to see on the internet if I'm pretty sure it has like a bridge. But it's missing on mine on both sides. So I'm probably just going to take the box off. But it's pretty easy to do this. 
already lost that bit 25 that I said earlier. So I had to get another one. I don't know where I put it in. Three hours later. All right guys, then I ran into an issue because this wasn't fitting in correctly. There's still a little tiny opening here, but I think it's really small. And this is hold on real tight. So I'm not sure, but this is it. I still left the box in there because I'm gonna have to buy the other little thing that goes connected to the other side when I find out what's it called. Now on to this side. What do you guys think? All right, guys. I took a break. I went, took a lunch. So on the left side, these didn't fit with the box for some reason. Either way, I took the box out just because I, like I showed earlier, it's missing that um, that little tunnel that goes to the front. I'll get them and then I'll figure that out. But um, as for now, they're gonna be hot air intakes. But this made a big difference. It looks super dope. It looks super cool. Um, <clears throat> we'll see if it does the difference. This one still has the box, but I'll remove the box Right now I'm about to remove it and then fix that little clam over there because it's facing too much outwards and it has a little gap. So, <clears throat> uh, I revved the car today before I did this. So if it makes a difference, I'll post clips here so you guys can see. But doesn't this look dope? And I need the little cap for this. I have it here, but the little clip is broken. So now let's remove this box. Came out to Rodell Drive. I was on the freeway driving this. I was gonna cruise out here and then I ended up seeing Vic on the freeway zooming. So I finally finished the intakes. That shit was a pain in the ass. I thought it was gonna be easier. Well, it was easy. It was easy. I ended up taking both of the boxes off. Looks really good. And it feels, to me, it feels faster and you can hear a lot of the turbo sounds now. But yeah, it looks good. Mission accomplished. Dope little upgrade that I needed. I did take the boxes out because on the left side it didn't fit, but on the right side it did. The right side it did fit, but I took it off because either way I was missing that little bridge that goes in the induction right there. And here the box didn't fit. But it still was missing the induction. But it looks good. Maybe next upgrade the inner coolers and change the charge pipes to titanium. One day later. guys i forgot to do an outro for the intake video so i'm doing this two days from when i installed the intakes um i haven't felt like any power has been lost i could hear more of the um like the turbos i'm trying to get a video with that but um i'm probably gonna have to put it like somewhere in the front or something for the camera to pick it up but so far so good um, like I said, they're probably going to be like hot air intakes now because they're inside the, the engine where all the hot air is at. But 
my stock ones were missing that thing that goes all the way to the front like the little bridge thing so i guess once i guess get that i'll put them on and then i'll try to see if i could retrofit the box to the right side and just keep the bottom of the stock box and then put the the intakes on top it does look cooler without them but yeah there's gonna be nothing but hot air in there but um like i said so far so good so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and till the next one peace she would appear in the late the condo we about to eat my giano helping the pee out some beaming on knuckles thinking i should take the bronco